guys get together. I've known Manami since she was 12, right? And maybe 10. Yeah. yeah. About that. Right? So she's the baby of the uh, of the group here, and she came to Guam when she was five, born in Japan, and then Miko came later on as a as a pro triathlete. And uh, it was just so neat to, to get you guys together and and Miu, you know, you're Miu. like a superstar uh, in Japan and uh, cool to when Milker said that you, you live here, I was like, no way, really? Well, she had her kids go to St. Anthony school. No, it's not, but it's absolutely secret because I have not the work of these yet, so. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm here for training. Oh, training, yeah, training, yeah, 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 yeah training. So, but you're here, right? Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. so I guess we can, you know, we'll talk about different aspects. Uh, mm -hmm. But first off, I guess we, we can talk to Manami about, um, you know, being raised in a Japanese family on Guam, mm -hmm. you know, because they, they didn't have that opportunity. They came mm -hmm. as adults. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and you, you know, a swimming champion and uh, mm -hmm. your father, a swimming coach and all that. So. Share with them how, how an upbringing in a Japanese family is living on Guam. Same, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Same, probably. Um, I remember like feeling a little left out from all my friends that didn't do sports seriously. Because um, it was eat, go to, go to school, mm -hmm. come back, go to swimming mm -hmm. on the weekdays. Mm -hmm. And then on the weekends it would be sleep or go to swimming in the morning come back eat sleep and then go to swimming at night mm -hmm. and so when my ha friends hung out on the weekends you know i wasn't able to go because i had to train mm -hmm. so that was tough but yeah it was and then i i was surrounded by guys more so than girls because they would quit after they get their period or mm -hmm. just you know do high school sports yeah, I was just like the survivor. <laughs> so what about like uh, living on Guam and not in Japan as a as a youngster? Goodbye. It's my favorite part. Oh. oh, but I missed like all the things you can do in Japan, like the mm. food. Like, you know, the little, like, accessories that you can get, or, like, you don't have to ask your parents to go, to go from your house to, like, GPO or the mall. You know, you need a ride to get to everywhere, but in Japan, you can just, like, kind of walk or take your bike or take the train anywhere, <laughs> so it was kind of harder to get to point A to point B. <laughs> okay. You and Miko have uh, similar similar paths, like both swimming backgrounds, mm. and then... But not like a 10 medals, not gold medal <laughs> for me. You never had 10 gold medals like her? No! <laughs> She's a superstar! When, when did you start swimming? And Three swimming? years old, eh? Three years my, old. I have two older sisters, mm. so I follow them. They went mm. to swimming, my parents work, mm. so I went together all the way to like, maybe like 15, but not like half. Oh, 15? <laughs> Mm. So you stopped after middle school? Mm. In Japan, eh? mm -hmm. I pick a high school, no swimming pool. Because mm -hmm. I kind of like, oh, I don't know. I had no swimming, oh, okay. swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> so I so how did you get into triathlon? I moved to Saipan. I didn't know triathlon because not popular at that time, like 2003. Triathlon is just to start the Sydney Olympics. Mm -hmm. So kind of very, not many people know. And then Saipan had a big triathlon community, Xterra Saipan, mm -hmm. it's worldwide, right? Yeah. And then Tagama, Tenian Triathlon, and I saw Xterra first time, and Jamie Woodmore, like world champion, came. Yeah. Yeah. I said, what is this? Mm -hmm. So I tried one time, and I got to just love it. I thought you were you started way earlier than that. No, because I moved to Saipan and did like an ocean swim, like escape from Manyagaha and running, mm. then kind of like, okay, I love Saipan. And then something triathlon, it's different sports than mm -hmm. like swimming or running. Yeah. And I tried one time, like, oh, love it. Yeah. Did you do road or off-road first? Off-road, the team first. Mm -hmm. what, what leg? Running. Oh. And then next day, next year, I was like, oh, I'm gonna do it myself. And I did it, 2005. 
Wow. I didn't, I didn't know you started that late in your... Yeah, because swim is just kind of one... Triathlon is one sport, but inside is three different sports, yeah. right? So it's more challenging and just different than just running or just swimming. Like Manami-chan knows, right? That feeling. Because swimming gets pretty boring. Running gets pretty boring. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Says the fighter. <laughs> Running, yeah. like afterwards, is it feels good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, I did it. <laughs> what I have, like, yeah. But like, it feels like you accomplished something. But swimming, it's like two hours of swimming, <sighs> like this. Tra practice, man. But the race is like about fifty two, seconds. Two. <laughs> yeah. It's boring. So, I mean, out of the. Me, you, have, you ever tried triathlon? No. Well, you need to do Baby it. Baby is pretty oh, triathlon. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. It's yeah. In November. Super not spring. good at swimming. You're not good at swimming? But you really? know how to swim. You're Japanese, Japanese know how to swim. Know how to swim. I know for you, sure. You, but <laughs> I don't think I can swim Japanese that long. Know. It's crazy. It's oh, no, crazy. no. It's only 200 meters. See, maybe you drink beer too. <laughs> <laughs> I <I'm good. laughs> <laughs> 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 Hot sake for sure. Hot sake for sure. They just sign up now. <laughs> but I remember like, my brother, he told me to do it. Wow. But I kept saying, like, no, no. Because they, because um, um, Jen's brother, Joey, Joey and those guys did it. John, John. John Tuck did it too. Yeah, he did it too. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So he's he my coach, and then, oh. yeah, he made me like a swim in the, at the beach, and then I, I always get panicked. <laughs> 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 Japanese really? elementary school yes. has a swim class. <laughs> yes, we all know how, we all learn how to swim. Mm. Yeah. Very good, very good. Maybe. Yeah. And we are all not the in family, oh, my, so ah. also, my father ah. went to America. Oh, my bro my brother started first, mm. and then after, and then sister. No issue, not at all. Oh, family. You know, her sister is married to Yu Darvish. Yu Darvish. Oh, yeah. the baseball player. Yes. Darvish. Yeah. That's oh. that's why she's living now. Oh, Darvish. Darby is now which team? The Cubs. Okay. Oh, the <laughs> Japanese. So that's why Chicago, right? Yeah. Oh, I know. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. But the minna outside of the yeah, living with mm -hmm. no, the no. Wow. Yeah. Have you ever been to Guam? Your sister and mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Her husband, but my sister came mm -hmm. to visit my brother. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm. You met to you Darvish before? No, I just I'm a sports fan, so I know mm. who he is. And, and Milker told me that that's the brother, and I was like, wow, that's mm. pretty cool. So, yeah. So what? Uh, you can you tell us what attracted? First off, your brother kid. What attracted him to Guam? Because at the at the end. Uh, that, you know, it's well documented that he spent his last time uh, mm -hmm. here. What attracted him to the island? I know Moker, Moker had a, a big part of that, but mm -hmm. he had a, a, really close. a strong sense yeah. of, of, of liking and loving this place. Mm -hmm. I guess, um, so Guam or yeah, so when he's living in Japan, he, you know, all the the noise and he has to because he's famous. Mm -hmm. Everybody watching him, he's not comfortable because he did he kept the secret he's he has cancer. So mm -hmm. that's why he went to live somewhere and other people that was bothering him. So mm -hmm. it was like he wanted Gosh. privacy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus um so America <coughs> America is his America and my brother is like really tight to brothers. Yeah. And so that's what that's what brought you here as well. Yes. You wanted to have like a quiet life. <laughs>
so yeah, not many people, and even even uh, Nico was saying, not many people know that that you know you're you're mm -hmm. here, and you still have a lot of uh, fans in Japan, and your family mm -hmm. still with Crazy D and mm -hmm. all of that stuff, and um, so it's just neat that that you're here and, and you've really engaged yourself with the local MMA mm -hmm. community, right? Mm -hmm. Milker and John Tug yeah. and, and Kyle and, and, mm -hmm. and all the boys. Um, how has that gone with, with your with your new career? I mean, everybody knows that you're world champion wrestler, and then at, at your age, you just you said you're a rookie in MMA. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's like unbelievable to start at a, at a, at a, at a late age. Yeah, but... To me, it's, I don't know, I guess it's not special to me because I always wanted to try to get everything, you know, like I'm so always curious about a lot of sports and I always try, so, and I was watching my brothers, but I never thought I'm going to try fighting, but when I find out my brother has cancer, I wanted to be close to him, so, because at that time I was living in um, Toronto. And he was living in Japan, so if I started fighting, you know, we can live like a really close, live together, and so <clears throat> yeah, we live in the same house in Okinawa, and he went to um, Guam. I just follow him, and okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we get to spend time. I I was I was actually at your fight. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the first one after his, his, his death, and it was against, uh, what's her name? The Japanese. The, 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 the pretty lady, the one that, <laughs> that she beat you first, and then you, 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 you redeemed Annie. her. Annie. Yeah, Annie. Yeah. Right? So, so I was there, and um, I mean, you, that was like the most inspirational fight that I've ever seen. It was almost like, it was almost like Kid was with you, yeah. right, right through the whole thing, you know? How did, mm -hmm. how did that feel? Um, yeah, it's like you say, yeah, you with me all the time, but after I finished my fight, I feel like, okay, I wanted to show him, I wanted to, you know, hug him, I wanted to ask him, how, what, you know, how did I do, but, you know, he's not here, so I start crying, and then the Andy just, you know, called me, and he said, he's okay, he's, you know, he's somewhere and watching you, and I was like, I know, I was like crying, and we were like hugging each other in the middle of the the ring, yeah. and then it was very, like, very emotional yeah. and, and inspirational mm -hmm. moment. But you're still doing it, so mm -hmm. I mean, you must you must like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, what's what's different between uh, MMA and wrestling, other than off the obvious of getting punched in the face, and <laughs> punching somebody in the face? I guess I start. Like uh, start um, learning the new things. That's really exciting. I love it. <laughs> so you're you're 44 years old. Mm -hmm. Because you're 41. 41, mm -hmm. and you're the baby. Right? <laughs> At 26. Yeah. So, is there something like you can share? You guys are closer yeah. in age, right? Um, no, but like for me, until 38, I felt so good. Like training every day, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. after 38, like, oh my gosh, why I, my body cannot listen what I want to? Mm -hmm. So I want to ask Milsan, like, what's your secret? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like 44, like, like look at this. Yeah, honey, honey like, no, 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 no. Like, 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 doesn't get tired? Yeah. Oh. Not really. I mean, like I get tired, but I guess my cardio and everything has got better and better mm -hmm. every day. I think it's like better than uh, when I was 20, 30, Yeah, yeah. I don't get like. You know, it's funny because <laughs> it's funny because when I when I first started GSPN, we have this sports question right on the side. Mm -hmm. One of the first questions I ever posed was, "What is the most difficult sport, MMA or triathlon?" Oh, you did? I did. Really? Oh my which god! One, which was what, 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 the one? What <laughs> Well, if MMA won, and 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 so I posed it. Yeah, and I posed the question. Yeah, so I, I posed the question, and a lot of the triathletes they said that, hey, we're competing against ourselves. Mm -hmm. we're yes. MMA, yes. We're, we're yeah. competing against someone. The, mm -hmm. the force and force factor 
plays a big role. So, but I, I always deemed MMA and triathlon as two of the most physically enduring sports out of any of them. Do you guys agree? No. What do I you think golf is a hard sport. <laughs> <laughs> I think any sport fighting against yourself, too, any, mm. you know, like even MMA mm. like against somebody, but inside here mm. is yourself. Mm. Even like a, the baseball too, everything here. Because if you want to okay. take easy, you can't. Yeah. Or if you want to push, you can't too. So from a from a former uh, pro triathlete and a current pro triathlete, the mental the mental game, how how hard is it? Is to, you know where? How many times in a in a triathlon do you feel like quitting? <clears throat> like every couple. <laughs> <laughs> every couple every like mile really yeah you're like why are you doing this mm -hmm. and then you kind of switch your mindset and then you get back into that mindset and you kind of like it's like you're going in and out of it mm -hmm. yeah do you agree no uh, i had like of course beginning i enjoy because new things and then like you too they're like wow this sport is fun and the time to pro different sports because you are racing against really different field too mm -hmm. but i was lucky i had a coach like always give me mental strong things mm -hmm. like you know he said like oh, if you want to think negative you shouldn't like you hang out with positive people but they give me positive thinking and they also like is, uh, if you mind come something negative coming, look around the, like nature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then you kind of forget about, like think about oh blue sky, or listen wind, or like ball, and then it's, it's like five or ten minutes on the bike and thinking, thinking, kind of forget about the uh, bad things. Mm -hmm. So I was lucky to have those coaches. Mm -hmm. So, but of course sometimes I was thinking like oh why am I doing this, but. Then thinking of family or my husband, say, oh, okay, I wanna, I don't wanna show them I'm quitting something. Too. Mm. What about you? You know, when you're when you're training, and like you get punched in the nose, or, <laughs> you know, and it hurts like hell, right? Mm. I mean, do you like just wanna walk out of the cage and say, forget this? I don't want. Why am I doing this? Because mm. every fighter says that the fight is the easiest part. Mm -hmm. It's the training that Yeah, training is the hardest, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Like, I never, I don't know, I never wanted, well, yeah. You never wanted to quit? There's no quit in you? Mm, so not for now. Yeah. And, and but I wanted, yeah, I get mad, I get upset all the time like, when I'm training, and then if I don't do well, I get like, yeah, you know, I just want to, you know, like. A Where does that come from? I mean, of course, you have a wrestling background. Mm -hmm. You started your your genes or your genetics is all wrestling, right? So, is, does that you do you credit that to how you are today? I guess I just like I say, I just started, and then I have I still have a lot to you know. I have to a lot of things have to make me better fighter so I don't know it's just fun I just I just love it <laughs> and I have a really good teammate and coaches and then I guess you know family so yeah so yeah, I loved it every moment so. <laughs> it doesn't sound like there's you're even close to quitting it looks like it's the beginning and, and I know I and just amazed, like, <laughs> like yeah, you, you yeah. just started fighting how in the world no, right, right? right? Mm. And and here's here's like other professional fighters just you know usually twenties this guy. Well, well, fighters I, they, they, no they peak fighter. at they peak at like mid thirties to late thirties. It's, oh, okay, okay. it's, it's a different it's a different sport. Too. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a it's a different sport than uh, than others. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's the maturity. You learn your body more, mm -hmm. and 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 the the mental part of, of fighting. So they peak later, but it's it's uncommon for someone to start in their 40s mm -hmm. and to keep going at, mm -hmm. at, at this age and, and it just you know says a lot about you and your, your desire. It's kind of like in my life, like a, my 
I always, if I want to wrestle, wrestle. If I want to stop wrestling, I stop. You know, I just do like when I feel like. You know, I never lie to myself. I never you know, pretend like I oh no, I'm okay. I want to stop. No, I'm just I want to wrestle. So I keep like everybody say, oh you you know you're 40, but I never like. I never thought like uh, I'm too old because I want to do it and I just let me do it. <laughs> so yeah. obviously you don't feel your age. No. Yeah. No. Fantastic. That's, awesome. <laughs> That's totally awesome. Um, let's talk about parenthood a little bit. So uh, she can't relate yet. I have dogs. But but you have dogs, yeah. So <laughs> How many? Don't do two. Yeah. So that's kind of it. Kind of counts. And I have John. Yeah, yeah and John. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your husband? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but you have you have an older son who mm -hmm. was super cool that fought on the same card as, mm -hmm. as you. How how cool is that? Mm -hmm. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah, he's like more my best friend and my teammates. So. Nice. Yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. practice this mm -hmm. They oh. beat, beat us up. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's like more my training partner, mm -hmm. teammate, and my best friend. More, it's not. He's not my son anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's yeah, he always like support me. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, you can really tell, <laughs> and um, and then you know you have young younger ones that are you know playing baseball yes. and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. um, do you feel like uh, you know you have to continue to push yourself to kind of you know show your your kids that hey, mommy can do whatever yeah. you can do? That's the only thing that I'm good at it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not perfect mother at all. Because mm -hmm. I'm dragging kids. All over the world, you know, like Japan, Canada, and then everywhere. Mm -hmm. So they has to, <clears throat> they have to, just, you know, like change school mm -hmm. so many times. But they don't, they never um, tell me to stop fighting or stop wrestling. So they just let me fly on. Again. They know that I, I'm doing what I love, so mm -hmm. they understand and. I, I think they get used to it. I don't know. <laughs> I asked them like, a, um, "What if I stop fighting right now?" I was like, "No, don't. I can't. They can't imagine that I'm being like a being. Um, I don't know, regular mom." <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so very interesting. Miko, you got you're a new mother. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very recent. What about you? Get twenty four. Yeah. Congratulations <laughs> on the twins. Oh, thank you very yeah. much. How how has that changed your life? Oh, a lot for mm -hmm. good, you know. Mm -hmm. Like I never thought, oh, what happened if I miss triathlon? But mm -hmm. I miss them all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, like I go outside running or mm -hmm. long bike, I feel like I wanna go home. Maybe they wake <laughs> <have> up now. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're cute. Mm -hmm. Very life changing, huh? It's mm -hmm. different. Learning so many things, wisdom. Like they teach me something, you know, grow up together. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes like we, we took first time beach, I forgot the sunscreen, da, da, da. okay, next time I bring. <laughs> okay, next time I don't mm -hmm. forget. Mm -hmm. So the, those learning every time. Yeah, different, very mm -hmm. different. It's different. It, and it changes your body too, right? Being a mother and... You know, because I... Uh, Trainer too, so I study those like uh, women's body when they are pregnant things. Like, uh, mm. They say hormones are working actually more, uh, giving cardio during uh, pregnancy because mm. uh, more red, uh, produce more red cells, mm. you know, the oxygen. Mm. Mm. So, like when I ran, was like a long time ago, European team mm. made the women pregnant on purpose to mm. be better athlete. Mm. Mm. So, I, that's I studied, right? And then I kind of tried myself, okay, let's see it. And after birth, of course, like one or two months, it was a 
スローダウン、because nine months、kind no walk up walk up but come back quick、mm.。Oh yeah, we saw、oh. her riding like a couple months after she gave birth. No,、her. but just not riding, just a speed everything. I kind of like I felt like <laughs> good. <laughs> so I kind of I I trust. Those study things, and then, like during pregnancy, also I worked out all the way that helped to come back quickly, too.、Mm. So, not like a body too much changing.、Mm. Mm. I think you're, you're still very active、mm. while you were pregnant. And then, like a musician s a y your body is fitter than like the 20s, right? Yeah. I think to I think be parents,、mm. mentally stronger, too.、Mm. Mm. You know, like I, I want to show kids doing this, this,、mm. this.、Uh, That helped too, I think. I'm not sure. I think so. <laughs> you, are, you are like at your prime, right? Right now, you are you're I just kicking ass and, and taking names. She was, she's like wins all the 5Ks, 10Ks,、mm-hmm. half marathon, marathon. It's, you know, every, every weekend she wins.、Mm-hmm. And,、um, and you, just, you have such a spunky. You know, attitude of you, and you, it, it, it's almost like it, you're so good, but also you're so free willing, it's, it's so cute. <laughs> and, and, you know, being watching Miko, because I know you, you grew up, you know, watching Miko perform and, and win all her e x t e r a s and, and now, now meeting another Japanese, you know, pro athlete that's super popular in, in your home country. How does it feel to you know, listen to these, these, you know, a little bit advanced in age, <laughs> age mothers、oh、that, are, that, that are still, yeah, that are still very, very strong?、Uh, I'm honored just to be sitting next to them. Like, I never thought this would happen, so thank you.、Okay. Um, but, like, I feel like I'm still like, learning, especially from them. Like mental, more so mentally, because I'm, I, I think I'm a pretty weak mentally, mental athlete kind of thing, and I think I can work on that a lot. And like,、um, a couple of things happened this year, and me, it goes like, you know, stay with the positive and never mind the negative, because that's all you're gonna think about, and you're gonna become negative. So I slowly focused on like the positives and kind of letting go of the negative. and Like, it's a much better year now.、Okay. And it's nice to see older Japanese ladies like kicking your butt、oh, still.、Duh. I mean, <laughs> because, you know, because I, I can see them and, you know, I can see myself doing it longer and not just like swimming where it just ended around 18, 19, and 20. Yeah. Yeah. Longer, longer careers.、Mm-hmm. I mean, you've been on the, the biggest stage of world, being a world champion multiple times, and so the, the, the limelight doesn't phase you, does it? Being, being under the, the,、mm. the, the spotlight, everybody watching you,、mm-hmm. that, that doesn't phase you anymore after all these years of being in the world championships, and you know, so you don't get nervous?、Mm, I get nervous, but. Like, good amount of nervous, you know, like, oh, okay, let's do it, let's do it, you know, like, not too relaxing, not too, like,、um, yeah, so it's always have, like, really good amount of kicho, kind of nerves, yeah. Like, well, I'm like the opposite.、Yeah. Wait, and you're, you're a pretty good dancer. <laughs> What? She, dancer? She's a good dancer. How do you know? Because I, I, I watch her Instagram and. The, and you dance? Entrance, yeah, yeah. Like, that's、uh, my, one of my favorite parts too. When I walk to the ring,、mm-hmm. yeah, I can.、Um, that's like my time, you know, like, yeah, okay. Can you show us? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I think it was on her story, so it, 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 it disappeared, but I'm sure she's got、oh, it. I didn't see that. Yeah, that's like. It's pretty、um, cool. It's very. The time to be in, you start focusing,、mm. go to the ring.、Yeah. What kind of dancing? Free dancing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be sad. I'm gonna be sad. I'm gonna be sad. Totally free dancing. And it's, 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 I put on the, my Instagram. Oh. You、yeah. have to check. <laughs> yeah. 
。でもそうね、ミュージックスポーツ、エブリマンウォッチングユーチューブでしょ。Different, ね、we don't like, mm. don't like those audience、mm. watching you. Only when you like, come to finish your life. <laughs> 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 That's interesting, yeah. Different. Because you're on your own for the yeah, most yeah, part yeah. of your races、yeah. until the finish line, right?、Mm. Where she's being watched. Everyone, like, three, six, eight. From, from, from start to finish, yeah. yeah. Oh, I would be like super nervous and like poop my pants. Right? Bye. 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 <laughs> What about your, you guys, you know, your, the culture that you, you know, you, everyone has this, this thought of, you know, the Japanese culture of being very respectful and very humble、um, in no matter whatever the career is, in sports, in business,、uh, in anything. And, and, you know, I can see it here, you know, the, the humbleness that, that's on this table, it, you know, it resonates and that's what you bring also, you know, Even living at Guam, that you're still pro athletes, but、uh, you know, I'm not, I'm really not that special. And I mean, does that ca- carry on with your performance of, of that, that innate culture? <laughs> That's a good question, right?、Mm-hmm. But like when I race in Japan, I'm not number one. So of course, I feel I'm no good. Right?、Mm-hmm. Went down. No? <laughs> no question.、Huh? <laughs> yeah, I like that, right? You like that?、Um, similar, and, and like, I think everyone's working hard. Like, they're just at different levels, and like, it takes time and effort. And、mm. like, there should be like, respect among each other, and it shouldn't be like, oh, like, competitiveness is really good because it brings the level up and it brings yourself up, and you know, the others up. But then I feel like, We should respect everyone because everyone's putting in an effort like, at their own level. And, and I think that's what I'm getting at, right? Is, is your, I, it boils down to respect because even if you, you go to Japan, everyone's like, oh, they're so, so respectful. The culture is very respectful.、Mm-hmm. You know, the crime is low.、Um, even when, when bands go and play concerts, they're, they're amazed that the Japanese are just sit there and, and then at the end clap. <laughs> and they, they don't get, you know, it's, it's different, right? Line、uh, up. Yeah, like, like, you know, Guam people, we have, you know, stereotype of, you know, being a little rough and wanting to fight and all that stuff. And, and that's not how, how you guys are, are built, right? So, with that, that type of respectfulness, how does that carry on to your sport? Especially you as a fighter.、Mm. Yeah, how do you punch people and say, oh, I beat you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I always give them a hug after a fight. <laughs>、mm-hmm. I feel like a thank you, you know, thank you for taking this fight. I'm like, I'm o n o r <laughs> Like, yeah, something like that. Interesting.、Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you beat somebody up, and, and, but it, I, I can、yeah. see the mutual respect. Because、right? we both know, like, you know, had our hard training to become a fighter,、okay. so we respect each other, you know, for sure. Yeah, very good. I guess it's understanding what you guys do, kind of thing. Yeah,、right? like、doing the same thing. You have to punch. Know, yeah. <laughs> you have to punch you your face. You have the sweat, right? That, that takes in. Yeah. So,、um, Nico, you're, you say you're retired?、Mm. You're retired. So, how, how, do you, how, do you, how do you want to、uh, be remembered? As, as a pro triathlete? Myself? Yes. I enjoy it. I never regret. And then I passed baby later, right? Like 40 years old. Some people say, oh, too, very late. But I never regret what I did. And I enjoy it. And I learned so many things, not just for sports or race. That、mm-hmm. g o to my life too. Sometimes life is hard. But because during race I fight myself, the, something c o m e up in my life, I still can go over myself too.、Mm-hmm. And like those like never give up, life also never give up too.、Mm-hmm. So it's kind of connect. And I was so happy. I 
have an experience as a pros and then meet all over the world people pros like a super pros and talk to them and what you do and learn so many things that goes to myself but now I think it goes to my babies too mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah. happy yeah. what about you when, when, when it's all is said and done you look back at your career how do you want to be remembered how do I remember <clears throat> Yes, like same. I have no regret. <laughs> yeah, because no yeah, I just I'm so lucky that I I'm still doing um, what I love and then you know being mom, <laughs> still fighting and I'm I feel like I'm the luckiest spider in the world. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Yeah, it'd be like that even after I finish my career. Yeah. <laughs> Which is not anytime soon, by the way, right? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna see you fight when you're 50. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know about that. <laughs> but yeah. No. Yeah. And you, Manami, I mean, you're, you're still, you say you're not even in your prime yet. Uh, maybe, you know, I know John has to do with having your, you know, looking back at your career, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of. <laughs> he's, still, he's still 30. <laughs> But looking back at your career, when you're when all is said and done, how do you want to be remembered? Um, like them for sure. Like, I mean, you know, they're like my well, Miko is retired, Miko son's retired, and you know, I want to be like that. I just don't want to have regrets, and also I want to be myself. Like, I think it's hard to be yourself sometimes when. Like, you know, everyone's saying, oh, do this, do that, and you want to make your own decision, but everyone's telling you something else, and I just want to be able to, you know, stand my ground and be myself. Mm. Yeah. Is it, is it hard to, to be yourself when you're, when you're doing what you're doing? When people are trying to coach you and trying to tell you what to do, and is it or hard younger. to... For younger, <laughs> for me, like, um, being new to the sport and, you know, not not or like creating my own path kind of thing is kind of hard but um i've been learning to stick with the positives and you know listen to my inner instincts kind of thing very good well thank you ladies for coming oh thank you for your invite thank you for yeah, great food <laughs> yeah we're not even done <laughs>